let's graph the linear equation y plus 3 equals x. So first what we have to do is create an xy table. Our next step is to put numbers in here that make this equation true. Now I can pick any number for x or any number for y, but I need to make sure that it fits in my graph because it's pretty useless if I pick a positive um, 11 for x and it doesn't even fit here. Okay, so how about I choose mm, 4. Let's choose 4 for x. So now when I write this equation, I'm going to have y plus 3 equals 4. See how I put 4 in for x? Now I need to solve for y. So I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides of the equal sign. So I get y equals 1. So I just put a 1 in for y. So that's my first ordered pair, 4, 1. Let's, let's this time put a number in for y. Let's say negative 2. So I'm going to have negative 2 plus 3 equals x. Well, since they're on the same side of the equal sign, they're like terms, so I'm just going to put them together. Negative 2 plus 3 is 1 equals x. So my next ordered pair is 1, negative 2. How about we try a 0? Let's say y is 0. So I'm going to put 0 in for y. So I'm going to have 0 plus 3 equals x. 0 plus 3 is 3 equals x. So my next ordered pair is 3, 0. I should mention that we only really needed two ordered pairs to draw the line. But just in case you make a mistake, you want to do the third one too. Okay, so let's graph those. 4, 1. So I'm going to go 4 on my x and 1 on my y. And I'm going to label it 4, 1. My next one is 1, negative 2. I'm going to go 1 on my x, negative 2 on my y. 1, negative 2. And my last one is 3, 0. I'm going to go 3 on my x and 0 on my y. 3, 0. Now the last step is kind of the fun part. We get to try to draw the line. Of course, you're going to be using a ruler, so yours is going to look so much better than mine. Remember to make your arrows at the end to show that it goes to infinity. And the last step is I usually like to write the equation just so that your instructor knows this is the equation for that line. And that's actually all there is to do to graphing a linear equation.